Hello everybody and welcome back on my YouTube channel. As you probably observed uh, in the last time, I was started to experiment with old radios um, built uh, during the communist era. And since now I was experimenting only with uh, direct amplification radios. Simple radios often sold as a kit uh, for children, uh, very simple and without any need uh, for tuning or for alignment on the intermediate frequency chain, by example. One of those days, uh, I was curious to see how a super hat would work um, um, nowadays. And as usual, uh, the main question is which schematic should I adopt? There are several options. Uh, there are, of course, kits sold uh, by uh, AliExpress and eBay for children uh, with super heterodines. Uh, without much explanation and without much example how it works. So I decided to stick up with um, older schematics from the communist era. And uh, I thought that uh, I should adopt a schematic of a radio receiver which has been sold um, um, on the stores of the time so uh, I can be sure that it's functional, that it's working. And after analyzing several schematics, uh, I found the schematic of this radio, which is called Pescarouche. Uh, it's an old uh, radio from the, from the socialist era, uh, and it's using, it was using germanium transistors. So I choose this uh, Pescarouche schematic because it's very simple and because it's having two uh, intermediate frequency amplification uh, uh, stages. So I'm supposing it will be sensitive enough uh, and selective enough. If you can see, it's there, it has uh, three filters for the 455 kilohertz uh, uh, stage. So it should perform fine. I never had one of these. Uh, so uh, it's for the first time I'm trying one. Um, the schematic is quite simple. The input uh, with the first transistor, which is EFT319 uh, or EFT317. I'm going to use EFT317 because that's what I have uh, on my boxes. Uh, it's quite simple, uh, self-oscillating uh, stage. Uh, the input at the base of the transistor is the ferret antenna and uh, between the emitter and the collector you're having the oscillator coil uh, which uh, generates uh, the local oscillator signal uh, which will be uh, seen and described later on this, uh, on this small movie. The signal uh, passes to uh, another two transistors, EFT319 or 317s. Here is the schematic. And it's detected by a germanium uh, diode, uh, D1. From that point, uh, we're taking the uh, voltage for the automatic gain control, uh, which is fed to the base of the second transistor using a 12 kilo ohm resistor that you can see here. And after that, after the detection, uh, the audio signal is amplified using a very simple uh, audio amplifier using also germanium transistors, mainly PNP transistor, only one NPN transistor, uh, which is an advantage. They are quite, quite hard to find, ENP, uh, NPN transistors, but only one transistor I found on my boxes so uh, I can build this radio. So let's start with the construction and with the technical details of this radio Pescarouche. For now, here we have the PCB, nothing special, just as simple as possible. And we'll start uh, by uh, 
mounting uh, the audio frequency amplifier. So the audio amplifier is mounted, it's ready. It's using EFT Romanian transistors. Uh, so uh, it's uh, rated at 4.5 volts. So it should be uh, it should be working. It's already on, and let's test it. So yes, we have the 50 hertz. The amplifier is working fine. Let's continue. As you can see, I have started with the audio amplifier and I'm going backwards. So the first uh, intermediate frequency transform that I'm gonna uh, build is the last one, in the matter of fact, uh, which uh, uh, goes to the diode, to the detection uh, module. Uh, so uh, this, uh, this last intermediate frequency transformer, I'm gonna build it on, uh, this, uh, on this core. Uh, I don't know which material it is, uh, the producer where I bought it didn't tell me, he just said that uh, it's okay to work on the AM uh, intermediate frequency, I suppose it should be ferrite material 43, but I just suppose, I don't know, uh, and I don't have time uh, or uh, um, need to measure it. So I'm gonna turn uh, on this core uh, for the primary windings uh, on the collector of the transistors around four, uh, around 75 turns. This should give me an inductance around 120 to 140 microhenry to be tunable with that uh, one nanofarad capacity uh, in parallel. And for the secondary winding, I'm gonna uh, turn 60 turns should give me around uh, 70 microhenry. That was the original uh, of the Technoton uh, coils. So uh, uh, the original uh, Technoton coils had 140 microhenry uh, for the primary and 70 microhenry for the secondary. That's what I'm gonna try to obtain as close as possible. Well, here it is. It's uh, it's uh, mounted on the PCB, uh, the last uh, intermediate frequency amplifier with the coil and the uh, detection diode is there, you can see it on glass. Um, let's see if we can tune it. So we're having a tuning indicator there. Um, so we're gonna start the power supply. Yes, it is. And of course, we're having a signal generator. It's a 455 kilohertz uh, signal generator. I'm going to give you the schematic a little bit later uh, on this movie. If you need to build uh, such, a, such a generator, it's working fine and it's very useful um, for tuning uh, intermediate frequency uh, modules. So let's see what we can have uh, by uh, adjusting that coil. Uh, what? Uh, first I will increase a little bit the level. Oh, not like that, like that. Okay, it's a, it's a good point to start. And turning in the coil. Oh, yeah, um, it's fully opened and I'm not at the maximum. The coil is fully opened. So uh, I had a little bit too much uh, turns, maybe uh, 70 turns uh, on the primary winding would be enough. Uh, I'm not gonna uh, change that coil. I'm gonna reduce the capacitor. It's one nanofarad now, and I'm gonna switch uh, for 800 and, 
220, 820 uh, picofarad and uh, see what it, uh, it gives. I'll be back. So I just switched for 820. I don't know the angle is not good, but uh, 820 picofarads it's on that capacitor um, instead of one nanofarad. And let's see. Well, it goes, 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 and back. Yes, that's the tuning point, the maximum we can have. So, yes, now it's tunable. Um, it's tunable, it's okay, we're gonna stay like that uh, with the maximum tune for this, uh, for this coil. For the second uh, transformer, intermediate frequency transformer, I'm gonna use a white core. Um, I don't know if the material is different or not. They are all stated by the producer as um, usable in uh, 455 kilohertz intermediate frequency. Uh, so um, I'm gonna use the white. It, it's uh, usual they are sold uh, on uh, eBay or on AliExpress as a kit of uh, three or four coils. So I, I, I have such a kit. Um, I don't know how many turns they have on original, but uh, as with the green, um, coil, you have to remove any capacitor, any internal capacitor that you can have. Uh, as you can see here, there is a, an internal capacitor. Everything should be removed. We're keeping only the core, nothing else, and uh, we're gonna rewind that uh, that core. Originally, uh, the Pescarouche radio receiver had uh, for the primary winding uh, 60 turns. Uh, that's tunable. The, the primary winding is tunable with one nanofarad capacitor. And for the secondary, it had four uh, turns uh, in the base of the first uh, intermediate frequency amplifier transistor. So let's do it. So, as I said, uh, I made the second um, intermediary frequency transformer there and let's tuning it let's see how it tunes for tuning the first uh, thing you should do is to disable the automatic uh, gain control that resistor uh, here it should be lifted off from the diode exit this is the diode exit it comes back at the base of the first uh, amplifier transistor uh, to uh, ensure an automatic gain control uh, automatic level control uh, you disable this you're connecting it to the positive uh, lead and then you can try to tune the uh, the coil so let's uh, let's start the power supply the generator is already on and let's start the power supply yes we're having a small signal and trying to tune it let's see how it goes well it seems it's working fine yes the level is increasing and a little bit back that's it that's the best of course we will retune at the end everything but that seems to be uh, the good tuning position and if we are here we can retune the green coil a little bit too let's see if we can change anything now it's worse let's go back 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 and it's worse so that seems to be the best position we're gonna leave it like this for tuning um, as you can uh, see in the schematic there is no tune indicator but uh, for uh, amplitude demodulator it's very very easy to to build a tuning indicator it's just a simple micro amper meter 
connected using uh, 100 uh, kilo ohms directly to the output of the diode. As you can see, that potentiometer is to adjust the instrument. It's connected uh, just simply at the output of the detection diode. Uh, and the cursor is connected to the uh, to the instrument nothing more than that it's very simple and it can be kept kept there um, to serve as a tuning indicator when the radio will work uh, in its uh, uh, final form